Hey, what's happening, guys? By R Tube and Nocturnal Gaming here, and I'm just gonna let you know, like, my thoughts, you know, my opinions on the Call of Duty Ghosts. And if it's only been the first day, it's actually uh, 10:26 right now on the first day, but I got it on midnight release, so technically I've had it for almost 24 hours. I'd say about nine, no, wait, not 19, 21 hours. But um, so far, I love the game. The game feels completely different from Call of Duty. It is like a mixture between, I don't know, some maps, like they just make it so well, it's just so well made, you know, it's, it's colorful and uh, but some maps are like big and they're like, kind of like a battlefield slash Skyrim, like you, you'll know what I'm, what, I'm, oh yeah, what I'm talking about when you get there, it's uh, called Stone something, Stone something, Stone, it's not Stonehenge, but it's, it's some kind of map that's like, it looks like a Skyrim slash battlefield map, but it's uh, the game is really fun so far. Uh, people say that it's a mix between Mono for 2 and Mono for 3, but I've never played Mono for 2, so I don't know what they're talking about. All I know is that Mono for 3 was really gray and like, you know, the, the maps were really just bland and just disgusting for the eye. But these maps are incredible to look out, look at, and uh, the sliding is great. Sliding is great. It's like uh, it's just the best thing in the world because like you just go around sliding. I think it's like the f most fun part of Ghosts, besides uh, Extinction, Aliens mode. Um, but yeah, the sliding. You know, you just go around. You know, slide. You get the advantage of people. But overall, um, you die really fast. You die extremely fast. Um, I can't remember a game where a Call of Duty game where I died that fast. Maybe. Maybe uh, Black Ops 2 when it first came out, they're like, oh, you know, I think that's what they said, right? Uh, they're, if you remember, if I remember, um, they're like, oh, you die really fast um, compared to Mono for 3, and then now, you know, you die faster, apparently. But um, a lot of people complain about that, but um, like someone said, one of my friends said that, uh, that people wanted to win gunfights, you know, they're like, oh, if I shoot first, I should win. And it said the other person. So I guess now technically it's it's like that. You know, there's no there's no really there's no turn turn on. But uh, I've tried a lot. But basically, as soon as you feel um, um, that hit marker, you know, you're getting shot at, you're dead. Basically, you're dead. Unless you're already running away behind a corner, you're you're already dead. But um, they incorporate leaning. You already know that. I'm pretty sure. But uh, I haven't really used leaning at all because I'm not really used to it. I'm not a PC gamer. I never, I never really use uh, leaning, so like I don't use it that much. Like I usually just you know crouch over the little head glitches or whatever the little walls that are there. Um, and I don't know. Basically, I just like I really like this game. It's it's something different, you know. But they took off a lot of things. They took a lot of things out, like uh, like theater mode, which. It's kind of weird. Um, past three years, theater mode's always been in there. For, uh, for us, the YouTubers, the community of gamer YouTuber people, um, to record uh, gameplay. So right now, I'm actually trying to find a gameplay that uh, I've been recording live because obviously I can't go back to theater mode. And there's so many good games I've had. You know, it's crazy. But they've also taken out um, muting people. Um, individually in game so you can't just go over their name and press X but there is a start um, start menu where you could go to mute all and mute all besides friends so um, that kind of helps and also when you mute all besides friends it mutes oh sorry mutes everyone besides uh, your friends obviously in lobbies too so they'll automatically mute everyone when you come into there so which is really nice but you know, I, I like the mute all button in my party lobby so that, you know, I can just do it already and stuff. But there's just minor things that, like, you might have a little, like, uh, you know, knack to. But uh, besides that, uh, everything's good. Uh, the scoreboard's not in the middle anymore. It doesn't, like, have a, like, little invis like, oh, like, it's not transparent or translucent, actually, I should, I should say. Wow. As I should say. But it's not translucent in the middle. It's actually on the top right, so that it's uh, kind of like out of the way. But I always get distracted and look to the top right when I have it up, and then I die. You know, whether you know it's uh, the past games, you have it in front of you, and like you could technically still see your enemy if they pop up. But 
uh, it's just little things that like uh, that they change about it. It's kind of weird, but um, there's also the the HUD the the radar that's uh, it's more rectangular. Yeah, rectangular instead of square now. But I don't really mind. You know, it gets it gives you a bigger vision of the map. Also, the kill feeds are from the bottom left now to the bottom right. No, not bottom right. Uh, top right. So, like, it's just like. You know, it's just like, uh, you know, habits. You like look at the bottom left, you're like, where the hell's a kill feed? But yeah, like I said, overall, it's a really fun game. I'm level 18 right now. <laughs> I'm just trying to customize my character because I want to make it look unique. You know, I know, right? Hipster. But anyway, I uh, hope you find this, uh, I don't know, not review, but, you know, however the game's coming on so far. Anyway, have a great day or night. See ya.